When a baby was born with a rare genetic condition, his parents were horrified and called him ugly before abandoning him at only a few days old. But you won't believe what happened to the boy after somebody else showed up for him. When Jonathan Lancaster was born on a cold winter morning, the mood in the delivery room seemed to shift from excitement and anticipation to one of confusion and concern. It was clear that there was something wrong with the young boy something that set him apart from the other newborn babies in the hospital. His parents, Sarah and Mark, had always hoped for a cute and adorable baby, one that would fit their idea of the perfect child. However, what they saw when they first laid eyes on Jonathan absolutely horrified them. His facial features were seemingly all messed up, twisted in a way that didn't look anything like the cute baby of their dreams. His almond-shaped eyes were set deep within his misaligned eye sockets, making them look all out of proportion. His cheekbones were underdeveloped and almost non-existent, giving his face a flattened and sunken appearance. And his small jaw and chin really did set this baby apart from the average child, adding even more to his unique appearance. Unbeknownst to his parents, Jonathan had been born with a rare genetic condition known as treacher collins syndrome which affects the development of facial bones and tissues. As the reality of Jonathan's condition set in, and they learned more about it from the hospital staff, Sarah and Mark were overwhelmed by fear and uncertainty. This was not what they had wanted. The image of the perfect child they had envisioned began to crumble, replaced by doubts and worries about how Jonathan's future would unfold, mourning for the loss of the mere idea of a picture-perfect baby and unable to cope with their own disappointment, they made a selfish and heartbreaking decision. When Jonathan was only 36 hours old, they abandoned him, leaving him to face a world that would never fully understand him. Jonathan's biological parents were quick to inform the social workers and staff at the hospital that they didn't want other family members to meet him. Their desire to distance themselves from the poor little baby was evident as they clamored for his removal from their lives. Even though they had only known him for mere hours, their rejection was a terrible and painful thing. It was sad to see parents so quickly and categorically fall out of love with their baby based on the way that it looked. Laying alone in a cold hospital crib, Jonathan began his long and hard battle through life. Nurses cared for him as much as they could, but it was clear that he needed a mother and father in his life, as any normal baby would. Sadly, Jonathan was taken by social workers and put up for adoption. Now it was a waiting game to see who would adopt him and give him the life and love he so desperately needed. But the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, and it seemed that no one was willing to give this unique child a chance. Although Jonathan was a sweet and full baby, his rare condition put off a lot of potential adoptive parents. It seemed that life really was going to be an uphill battle for this poor baby. However, fates had other plans in store for this resilient little boy. It arrived in the form of a kindly woman named Jean, who had always longed to be a mother but hadn't found the right opportunity. She had a burning desire to make a difference in someone's life, and she knew that she could make a difference to Jonathan. There was something about the boy that captivated her, and so Jean opened her heart to him, seeing beyond his physical appearance and into his kind young soul. Of course, her decision to adopt Jonathan was not an easy one, and it wasn't without its own unique set of challenges. Aware of the judgments that would come their way, she faced the doubts and criticism with unwavering determination. She knew that love had the power to conquer all, and she was willing to face any obstacle that came their way. She owed it to Jonathan to set a good example to him, to show him that he had the strength within himself to stand up to people and ignore what they say. It was an invaluable lesson that really would pay off for him in later life. As Jonathan grew older, Jean became his unwavering pillar of strength. She was there to pick up the pieces when other children were cruel and heartless. Using his condition as ammunition for their bullying, children could be very cruel. And sadly, Jonathan took many of their words to heart. But with a gentle touch, his adoptive mother Jean would dry his tears and remind him that his worth was not determined by the opinions of others. He was his own person, and he would be proud of that. While his journey was far from easy, Jonathan slowly built up a tolerance to the unkind words and judgments that seemed to plague his path. 
Rather than allowing the abuse to break him and cause him all kinds of grief and sadness, he found solace in humor and strength. A mischievous glint would flash in his expressive eyes as he faced his tormentors, disarming them with his wit and resilience. Jonathan was no longer going to allow himself to be the victim, based solely on his syndrome. It was his strength that allowed Jonathan to blossom into a kind and compassionate young man. Despite his sad and painful start to life, blessed with a heart overflowing with empathy, he refused to let his syndrome define him or extinguish his spirit. Sure, he didn't look like other people, but why should that stop him? Why should that make him any different to anyone else? Jonathan understood that his value lay in the way he treated others and the impact he could make on the world around him. As the years rolled by, Jonathan's unique journey took an unexpected turn. He wholeheartedly embraced his past and the challenges he had overcome, and he decided to use his experiences as a springboard for something greater. Fueled by a burning desire to inspire and motivate others, he started on a path of becoming a celebrated motivational speaker. He could channel all that he had been through into something constructive and useful to the lives of others. Standing on the stages around the world, Jonathan shared this story with a raw vulnerability that resonated with audiences far and wide. His words cut through the judgments and preconceptions that society had placed upon him and others suffering from similar disabilities. In fact, Jonathan encouraged others to embrace their own differences and find strength in their uniqueness. After all, it would be a boring world if it were all the same. His many audiences would always fall silent as he recounted his many stories of triumph and resilience. His magnetic presence bridging the gaps between people's hearts. Today, Jonathan stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Through the adversity he faced from the moment of his birth, he emerged as an inspiration to countless individuals. Armed with his unique position as someone with Treacher Collins Syndrome, he reminds the world that true strength lies in perseverance and acceptance. For Jonathan, his journey was not just about embracing his own worth. It was about empowering others to do the same. And for this reason, he even embarked on an international flight to Australia to meet with two-year-old Zachary, who has Treacher Collins Syndrome as well. I would have loved to have met somebody like myself when I was younger, he stated. Somebody who had got a job, got a partner, and said to me, these are the things you can do, you can achieve. And Jonathan achieved them all. Because besides his job as a motivational speaker, he also found love. Just like his adoptive mother Jean, Laura saw beyond the deformed facial traits caused by Treacher Collins Syndrome and recognized the incredible man lying behind. The two lovebirds are now building their own nest and have recently became parents of a little girl named Ellie. When people asked him whether he was afraid that his baby could look like him, Jonathan replied that he had no reason to be. His syndrome is not a death sentence. And over the years, he has learned to embrace his odd face that makes him unique. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have felt if you were in Jonathan's shoes, knowing your parents abandoned you at such a young age? And would you be willing to give a child with Treacher Collins Syndrome a chance at a happy life? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.